Welcome to Bible Logos. My name is David Deleuze and I am your broadcast host. Today, I can't wait to present to you part three of the message entitled, Drop the Mic Blessings. Remember to like and share it on social media with your friends and family. All right, get ready for part three of Drop the Mic Blessings. And so in this case, it says here, that he went to the place where it was written, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Found over in Isaiah, the book of Isaiah. Because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. Now let me just say this. As we turn the corner and come out of 2017 and go into the year 2018, into the new year, don't go in the same way that you came out. Don't go further the same way that you came out. Look at somebody and tell them, you need to go in with a new attitude. Amen. I don't know about you, but everything that God promised me, I wanted. Yeah. We come up in churches and we come up in environments where they teach us, you know, what well, the nice thing and the pious thing is to be humble and to be, you know, to do humility and not to ask God for anything. But the Bible says you have not because you ask not. The scripture says, I came that you have, might have life and that you might have life more abundantly. And whether you like it or not or believe it or not, that's talking about stuff. God wants you to have stuff. God wants you to have money in your pocket. God wants you to have houses and land. God wants you to have, he said, the cattle on a thousand hills belongs to me. He said, all the silver is mine and all the gold is mine. And as his child, he wants you to partake of what he has. So let's not go forward denying God of what he wants to do in our lives. Let's not proceed for rejecting the blessing and rejecting the benefits that God has promised us. Christ died for you to have stuff. Christ died for you to have healing in your body. Just the same Christ who died for you to be saved died for you to be healed. The same God who died, hallelujah, for you to be saved died for you to have stuff in the bank. He's the same God. The same God who died in order for you to be saved, died for you to have peace of mind. So let's stop rejecting what God has for us and take everything that he died for. Look at somebody say, I'm going after it all in 2018. Every bit of it. Come on and put your hands together. Let's give God praise. And so one of the first points that he makes in this passage of Scripture, he says this. He says, God has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. And see, he was quoting the scripture. He was reading it directly from the, the Bible. But you could tell in this instance, he was talking about himself. Yeah. And so some of the people who were there in the audience took offense to that. He's trying to elevate himself. He's trying to make more of himself than he is. He's trying to make himself a, a bigger than us. But we know who he is, and we know what he came from. And so that's what set this up for such a mic drop moment because of the fact that he knew what their response was to him. He says, he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. Now, let me ask you this question. If you're the poor, what's good news? If I'm without, good news to me is I don't have to be without. If I'm in lack, good news to me is I don't have to lack. The Bible says that he became poor that I through his poverty might be rich. Why am I going to be bound when Christ has set me free? We've got to have a new attitude. We've got to tell the Lord, I agree with what you said. If you said you want me to have something, I want the something that you said you want me to have. Because what we've taught this year, and if you remember what we've taught this year, it's not about you and it's not for you. God wants you to have stuff so that he can use you to be a blessing to somebody else. And you can't be a blessing to somebody else if you don't have something. So in order for you to be able to do what God wants you to do, he needs you to get yourself in line with him and have something so that he can use you to be a blessing to somebody else. God don't want you poor, not his people. The second point that he made here 
is that he has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captive. He has sent me to claim to proclaim liberty to the captives. If you've been bound, if you've been twisted up, if you've been entangled into something, God wants you set free. I don't care what it was. I don't care how long it's been going on. I don't care how deeply rooted it is. God wants you set free. God doesn't want you twisted up in things of the devil. God doesn't want the enemy to have rule and reign over you. God wants you to be free to, in order to be able to serve him and give him your very best. So whatever it happens to be, I don't know if it's an attitude. I don't know if it's a habit. I don't know if it's a, a situation of your past. But anything that has you bound, make up your mind that I'm leaving that in 2017. And when I cross over in 2018, I'm walking in the freedom and in the liberty of God in Jesus' name. Welcome back. Isn't that a powerful word? Don't miss tomorrow when we come back with part four of the message, Drop the Mic Blessings. I need you to do me a favor. Like and share it with your friends and family on social media. I'm David Deleuze, and I want you to remember that the sower sows the word, and therefore it is with the same measure you meet that it shall be measured unto you again.